wanted to show you this really cool solar panel that I got from XTAR. Now you may be wondering, why am I inside? And well, it's so bright outside and I've got this big window on the front of my house that I've actually got the solar panel here in my living room and it's making enough power to be charging up one of these solar generators that I have. It's got a really cool adapter for charging phones and other things. And so I really just wanted to show you how convenient this can be just sitting here in my house, especially during like a power outage, something like this just to run phones or radios or something like that would be pretty cool. It's not big enough for a serious emergency preparedness or anything, but it is really, really cool. Basically, I've got the 100 watt panel here. I've got it in full sunlight here in my living room and it works really, really well. It's got these uh, kick out legs back here and it's got like these little tightening pieces so that way you can set it to whatever uh, height you'd like for the legs. And it's just got this pouch right here. We're using the eight millimeter, or it's a DC 7909, basically an eight millimeter barrel plug. And really what makes this panel work this way is this special adapter. It's basically like a mini charge controller and it says it's capable of putting out to 45 watts. And it works with any solar panel that is going to operate between 10 and 24 volts and has a DC 7909 or 8 millimeter barrel port. So I've got this small solar generator right here. Uh, you may have seen my review on this. This is a cool little solar generator by Big Blue. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in to the type C right here. Then I take the extension cable of the 8 millimeter barrel plug right here, plug it in. This lights up. This may be a little difficult to read, but it says it's making 18.2 volts at 2.9 amps. And I just use this button to select which output that I want on here. So it's basically one through four. So I've got USB one, USB two, USB three, and type C. So I know this is the type C right here. So I go ahead and plug that in. And on this big blue solar generator, it's actually able to charge through the USB-C port. And you can see right here, that I'm getting 52 watts. Now that's the surprising part because this is only supposed to be able to put out 45 watts, but I'm getting more than that, which is really cool. And this will do 60 watts of input through this USB-C port. That's the coolest part of this XTAR system is the EU4S device that goes with it because it allows me to take that solar panel and rather than use a solar generator as a battery charger for my drone or camera or laptop or whatever, as long as whatever I'm charging or using will use less than about 50 watts of power, then I can use this right here to charge it up directly from the solar panel without needing a battery or solar generator or power bank or anything like that in between. That is really, really cool. Now I can also just use this like a normal solar panel. I've only got this six or eight foot DC 7909 or eight millimeter uh, barrel plug, but I happen to have right here a Jackery 1500. What I'm gonna do is put in this adapter right here, plug it in, and when you look at that, it starts charging it. So it says input right here, we're at 56 watts. So what I want to do now is actually test the difference of how this performs inside here in my living room versus outside and see if there's much of a difference. I don't actually have to be outside. This extension cable that came with the EU4S unit is about 10 feet long and the cable that's on the back of the solar panel is 10 feet long. So I have actually 20 feet of cable here, which is enough to get inside and look at how much power this is outputting. This is by far the best folding solar panel of 100 watts that I have tested so far. During the winter, we are getting 106 watts of output out of it. I have yet to test especially a folding solar panel that does that well. So the XTAR SP100 solar panel is absolutely incredibly powerful for its size for what it's doing. This is really, really good. So you can see right here, I've got it set out. It's nothing special. I've got the cord right here. If I want to put this away, one of the nice things is, it, is that it has magnets here. You can hear it clip together and it kind of sticks together right there. It's also got these grommets here. So if I wanted to hang this up, it's capable of doing that. The legs don't go closed and it's got this adjustment here. The pouch back here is plenty big for storing more of these cables or more adapters. With the little mini charger that I got, there also comes an Anderson power pole connector as well as a car charger, many different options to be able to get DC power uh, out of the solar panel. So 
This is pretty incredible. This XTAR panel is by far putting out the most power than I've seen in any other 100 watt folding panel. And I do have a video planned where I'm going to take this and five or six other 100 watt folding solar panels and test them all at the exact same time and see which one is the number one winner. But so far of all of my testing that I've done with other systems, this one is doing really, really well. So all in all, I think this solar panel is really, really awesome. I definitely recommend it. Really, I think where this is going to shine is like on a camping trip, a car camping trip or something like that. And I can have this outside and I can be charging stuff on the inside of my RV or my tent or whatever. Now this I really thought was gonna be just like the Solar Saga 100 panel. Uh, I have one of those and it will only put out about 69 watts at its very best. So if you have something like a Jackery, you may consider getting an XTAR panel instead of a Solar Saga 100. I'll have links down below so you can compare the pricing and do whatever's best for you. Uh, I don't have a dog in this fight. I don't really care because I use a Titan solar generator for all of my stuff. But for real portable, easy power, especially not having to carry a battery or, or a power station or anything around, this is definitely going to be one of the top choices. Thanks to all my subscribers and all my Patreon members. You guys are the reason why I do this. You may see this in the giveaway if you're a Patreon member. So go check that out at patreon.com slash Minuteman Prep. Either way, I appreciate you stopping by. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Be prepared and I'll see you guys in the next video.